What is up, bros? Josh here, and today's video is a video I'm extremely excited to make, and it's over the most recent update we have on the Naval Training Center. Just two days ago, the World of Warships player base was introduced into the upcoming feature, which is titled the Naval Training Center. The very short version of this is the ability for players to go back and grind old lines. While you're grinding those old lines, you would earn a resource. With that resource, you would buy rewards. On paper, it's actually quite okay and an innocent idea, something optional that players could do, but in the end, it was the rewards that turn this thing into there's no other way of saying it, a giant dumpster fire the rewards on this which were first announced by world of warships in one of the dev blog posts were these insane level rewards basically making your ships into as people have called them tier 11 tier 12 ships and just giving kind of an unfair advantage and it was maybe the most unified i'd ever seen the world of warships player base as well as cc's and having hatred on one certain topic it was completely appropriate because this this idea was basically dead on arrival as soon as they added in that reward system on day one of the announcement, Wargaming is met with a wave of negative feedback from both the CCs as well as the player base about how bad this reward system was. Any type of reward that gave you a combat buff for people that had the time versus people that didn't was completely something that was going to flaw the system from the start. And what made what originally was potentially a innocent, optional grind that people could do if they want to, pretty much with any kind of combat buff, made it mandatory. This was the... Feedback I got through my Discord and on the live streams, this is something I 100% agreed with, that I could get behind it being a optional grind, but I could not get behind it giving any kind of combat buff over people that weren't being able to do. That was the biggest thing that was the drawback from this, was you cannot punish people that weren't able to do that. Now on day two, it was interesting to see Wargaming double downed. Now they were going to scrap the idea of these large buffs, but then in quote, the combat buffs will become incremental and significantly smaller than announced originally. This was met with pretty much the exact same feedback. It's complete crap, it shouldn't be like this. And again, it makes what could be an innocent optional grind for people that have the time to do it into something that is still Still mandatory because even the smallest percent of an advantage over somebody that doesn't have the time in my opinion was going to flaw the system and make it a complete failure from the start it was interesting to see wargaming double down and say we're going to stick with the combat buff with all this negative feedback now that leads us to what was announced today over the naval training system, and that is Wargaming has actually listened to this feedback from everyone involved, so I appreciate you guys and applaud you guys for letting Wargaming know your thoughts on this, but it looks like they've actually listened because today they have announced they will fully remove direct performance buffs for ships which were originally presented in the system. So two days ago, it was announced that the system would have god tier buffs. They kind of listened, but doubled down and said they would be on day two, small incremental buffs. And now what we have today is they are completely removing them. So there is hope for the system. I love the idea of something that's very innocent and optional for people that have the time to do it. But I didn't like the punishment that players that didn't do the grind would have to go against something that they would not be able to really perform against and they have completely removed that so that is amazing to hear that is the news i wanted to see and that is the news i'm happy to tell you guys that they are completely removing their performance buffs from ships that were presented in the system earlier both in the last couple of days so the rewards that they're going to replace these buffs with are going to be certain ships like the tier 10 Colbert, the work in progress Colbert, as well as the Ohio. And they even said down below, which is the thing I'm most excited about, and I'm interested to see what they end up making, is down here, as you see, we will invest more resources into exploring other types of rewards. For example, we're heavily limited by the game lore itself. Yeah, they have a pink camo from whatever con I'm sure you're limited by the lore whatever you gotta tell yourself but we will try to do more cosmetics to m make your ships look cool and show off your achievements we have been absolutely in the cc discord been shitting out ideas for them to just potentially take in all of those so we are throwing ideas hopefully some of them stick on all types of cool stuff there's marks of excellence and tanks there's all kinds of emblems they could add there's all types of metals and whatnot they could add into this game so i'm excited to see what kind of ideas they take um for adding kind of cosmetic uh, badges of honor if you will i would love to see what they really do the options are endless and their bag of tricks that they could reward people with is actually quite large but the best part is they have gone away from the performance buffs which was going to completely make this a failure from day one so a pretty short video today but i just want to keep you guys updated 
I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this. For, you know, from from the start, it being the performance buffs to what we have now. Are you happy with this being a cosmetic buff now? A cosmetics and potentially some ships as well. Now there are still some things we don't know. One, we don't know how many of this resources. Now we saw like the ten per line. We don't know if that'll still stay the same. We don't know how many seasons there will be of this throughout the year. So this could take a long time to maybe get the Colbert or the Ohio. The examples they use. Um, as well as the camels we don't know how much these cost but what are your guys's feedback on this again all the feedback from these videos is going straight to the devs so whatever you leave again i've been very on top of answering questions down below as much as i can um i'm really really excited about this uh, i know there's been, this has been a pretty boy howdy has this been a pretty heated topic both in the youtube comments as well on twitch again we're probably going to discuss this for the next couple days over on twitch.tv come check it out um, twitch.tv slash me uh we talked about it a lot and it seemed like everyone was kind of uh in agreement that the performance buffs were is can't really say it complete bullshit um you can't there's no real nicer way to say it complete bullshit but uh and then if it was to be more cosmetic or something like that something we've seen already in game then that would be okay i like the idea of the grind the optional grind but they couldn't make it mandatory which they pretty much were with any kind of performance buff now they've taken that away so i'm really interested to see what you guys think about um, what they have announced today. Do you guys like what they have announced? Do you like the direction of this new system now? And is it something that interests you? Again, all this information can go to the devs and I'll try to do as best as I can to um, uh, answer as many questions or anything down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think, but a fantastic update to see. I know discords are blowing up. Twitters are blowing up. Everything's blowing up. So this is fantastic news to wake up to. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think for sure. But anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.